Hej vänner, jag är Marvazi och välkommen tillbaka till Summer XCOM eller med The Long War. Så, so, I'm about to finish Alien Communications, which means I'll be able to start building the Hyperwave Relay. That's going to cost me 600 credits, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. As for next research, I'll go for Alien Propulsion. To unlock Firestorms. I need to do it now. So, build facilities. And... Right, I need to wait for that Elerium generator to finish, but it's about to finish. There it is. Now I can start the Hyperwave Relay. Yeah, that's 600 credits, 50 alloys, 30 Elerium, and 15 power. Alright, I'll build it. And now I can demolish this generator up here. And possibly replace it with a workshop. Yeah, sure, why not? And scan for activity. Some more side training is about to finish. Oh, this is an interesting proposal. I kind of need my power sources right now. And I don't really need the money at the moment. Great, failure. Seriously? Well, let's try again then. This is one of the most annoying parts of the late game in the long war. Failed sonic training. If you get unlucky, you can just keep failing over and over and over. Well, maybe the next one will be a little bit better. Okay, mark of success. So at least there's that. But I kind of cared about Emmanuel more because that was the second tier ability. Let's see now. I guess I can send Marco again. Or someone with decent will. Who has decent will? 58 on Arpit, 60 on Sarah. Okay. She could get mine for it then. And scan for activity. Satellite uplink is done. Right, so now I can launch the satellite in Germany. That's what I'm going to do then. I could have waited with that workshop a little bit longer, I suppose. It would have been cheaper. But whatever, it's fine. Very large EFO. Oh, is that going to be a terror mission? Yep, that's going to be a terror mission. Okay then, that means I need a strong squad. Probably with bagels. But I'll clear all of this and see. Actually, Hulk is still a gunnery sergeant, isn't he? And he's more than tanky enough. Yeah, he's still a gunnery sergeant. Alright, he's coming then. Let's see, I'm going to need a good gunner. Maybe even two gunners. Hmm, Conrad, Sebastian. They don't have heat ammo, that's the problem. Who's going to be the officer? I could bring Arpita as my officer. That works. Okay, as for the gunner, what other gunners do I have down here? I could bring Kelly and then one of my master sergeant gunners. Maybe. Like Kostya? That's a good idea because he has rapid fire and Kelly has double tap. Okay, that works. Next up, I could use a sniper. Any gunner sergeant sniper still? Don is fatigued. Okay. Well, I can bring a double tap sniper if I want to. Or I could bring in the zone sniper. One or the other. Who has the highest aim anyway? They are roughly the same ish. I mean, when your aim is over 100, it doesn't make a huge difference whether you have 101 or 107. Kevin has 7 hit points. William is my only Master Sergeant Sniper with Snapshot. Okay, let's bring Kevin. I mean William. He has in the zone one or more structures. Oh, I think I know which map this is. Yeah, Snapshot will be useful for this map. Now I need an Assault. I could bring Marco or Kerry. I could also bring who? Yeah, I don't want to go this far down the list, although a tech sergeant sniper, I mean assault, is more than fine. She has killer instinct, which is what matters. Okay. Now, I still need a scout. Let's see then. Carl. And one last person. I could bring Ivan. Oh, what about Annette? Is she still fatigued or whatever? Yeah, she's fatigued for four days. Okay. 
Yeah, never mind. I thought she's closed the promotion. I don't really want to bring a second officer. Oh, I could bring Zhang. Yeah. He's not close to promotion, but he has some signing training. And he has very good will. What's his will right now? 66. Not that great, but decent. What rank is he anyway? Oh yeah, he's a gunnery sergeant. Well, in any case, this is the squad. So let's give them proper equipment now. Cutter blaster. I have enough armor for everyone. I could just sell the phalanx armor and carapace armor by now, I suppose. And I probably will, I just don't need the money at the moment. Anyway, titan armor for her. And breaching ammo. Blaster. Okay. Next up, William. I might keep that battle scanner. I think I will. But Corsair armor. All sniper rifle, obviously. He can grab a laser pistol. Then again, he won't really need one. Unless he has to shoot something in the face. And a scope. That's 170 name. And 11 hit points. If I keep the battle scanner, yeah, I'm keeping the battle scanner. Kostya. He has rapid fire, so that means false auto blaster for him. And a scope. I like having a scope on gunners. Aegis armor, he doesn't need titan armor. And one more item, not the bipod. Kelly will take the bipod. I could give him what? Flashbang grenade? Or something like that? Maybe. His mobility is not amazing, so flashbang grenade is not that great. I could give him a smoke grenade actually. Yeah, that might be useful for these missions. Okay, that's only plus 20 defense, but that's always something. Next up, Kelly. So, Gatling Pulsar. Alloy Bipod this time, and the Scope. Like this. That will give her over 100 aim. With the Bipod, since the Bipod is not included. In this number. Next up, our Officer. Titan Armor for her, that's for sure. And possibly Plasma Carmine. Yeah, just to give her a higher chance to hit. She still needs few hundred experience to get Master Sergeant. But I think she's my closest medic to Master Sergeant. Okay. Hulk. I'll take the Pulse Lance, Flamethrower and Grenade Launcher. Yeah, Grenade Launcher is more useful than the Kinetic Strike module for me right now. And I got the Battle Computer, I can bring that. That's plus 10 aim, crit chance and defense. And holo targeter. Yeah, I think holo targeter will be more useful than the auto loader in general. It definitely will be. So that's Hulk, exactly 100 aim. Are we done? No. Carl. Okay, Titan armor for Carl. That's 15 hit points and still 21 mobility. Pulse rifle, laser pistol. And I could give him some side grenades. And then also chem grenades. And he will keep 15 hit points. Yeah, that's pretty good. And Zhang. I actually have one leftover Aegis armor. Because everyone here is already using armor. Except my sniper who's using Corsair armor, but that's for the grappling hook. So, Zhang. But I won't be selling that Aegis armor. It will be useful for missions where I won't be using a sniper. If they ever happen. Pulse rifle. Do I still have one more scope? I do. And... Side grenade? Might be useful for this mission. Yeah, okay, side grenade. So it looks like we're ready. Do I want to bring an arc thrower? Possibly. On her? Maybe. That will reduce her mobility a lot. 12 mobility down from 16. I would probably have to replace the blaster. Yeah, I would have to replace the blaster. Which is fine. Okay, I'll give her a regular pistol and keep the arc thrower. That's 13 mobility. I could replace the titan armor, but I don't want to. I like having titan armor on assaults. 
Okay, let's go. We're ready. Should be a fun mission. Looking forward to seeing a giant alien or something. <laughs> this mission will probably have one. It's a terror mission in January. I expect some kind of giant alien here. Which map is this? Oh no, this is a different map, not the one I thought it's going to be. That's a Newfoundland map. Yeah, it is. Okay. I actually don't mind, it's a pretty big map. I do like terror missions on big maps, because then that means you're less likely to have multiple groups of aliens right next to each other. And that's always unpleasant. Alright, let's get started then. I'll scout around first, so I see a civilian right here already. And we got a bunch of floaters. These are all heavy floaters, and the first ethereal in this game. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Ethereals are no joke. So how do I want to play this? I could use the, the grenade and destroy cover for the mutons. Might be a good idea. That's quite a lot of aliens right next to my starting position. I'll need to be careful. And there's not a lot of cover to use around here. I could try to kill... no. I think it's best to hit the mutons. Probably. What can I actually do here? Where's William? There's William. Hmm. Yeah, this area really lacks some decent cover. If I move here, will that trigger the reaction shot from the mectoid? It shouldn't. But I could dash with Carl first. I don't like dashing. Okay, let's move like this then. No reaction shot, which means it should be safe to move William. And then take a shot at something. I'm all over. I think I will use the grenade launcher though. I'm not close enough to hit anything with the flamethrower. So grenade launcher makes sense. I can destroy cover for these two mutants on the left side. Like so. Not a lot of damage, but destroyed cover is a more important part. Oh really? Hulk panic? Come on, dude. I hate when that happens. Don't run, dude. You need to be in the front. Well, at least he triggered that reaction shot, so there's that. But I would have preferred a non-panicked mech. Okay, well, this turn is not quite done. And this civilian will have a really bad time. I got Zhang. I do have some side grenades. Should probably use them. I can hit three heavy floaters? Yeah, I can hit three heavy floaters. Alright. It's definitely worth disorienting them. I can't kill any of them on this turn. There is that ethereal in the back. And that's going to be really nasty. So what else? I might throw a smoke grenade. I think I should. I definitely should. So Arpita can move here. Can I even kill anything? Let's see. I could use disabling shot on the mech, but I think I prefer to kill the mutants. I should kill one of these mutants. I just need to get a crit. I have 95% chance to crit. Alright, let's try it. Not miss. Okay, nice. That was 13. Now, anything else? Oh, right, this guy has in the zone. I totally forgot about that. So this should be pretty good. But... No crit this time. Oh well. At least I got a second shot. Now, I still got Kostya. And he has rapid fire. I could move here and then use rapid fire on something. Or I could use Overwatch. Yeah, this area really lacks better cover. I could run him down here and then do something on the next turn. That might be a better idea. So I'll run him down there. And Kelly will stay up here. I still got my assault with run and gun and rapid fire. I could use that. Alright, I'm going to use it. I can get into better cover. Well, I can get into some cover at least. Let's see. 54%, 40%, 1%. 
I can probably kill the mutant, but I can also do really good damage to that mech. It's kind of tempting to hit the mech, actually. Alright, I'll hit the mech. That mech will have to go down. Nice, 15 crit. Awesome. That was 22 damage. I can almost destroy that mech on this turn. If I hit it with Arpita, oh yeah, Arpita can actually hit the mutant if I ignore the smoke grenade. Which I probably don't want to. Also, Zhang has nowhere to go. I could move him here, that's a little bit too close to the floaters. Yeah, this is going to be problematic. I'll just keep him back here for now. And maybe move through the building. I could blow up the wall. Okay, Overwatch. And I think I'll use a smoke grenade. As tempting as it is to kill that muton, I kind of need a smoke grenade in this situation. Because that's quite a lot of enemies. That ethereal is still out there. That ethereal will be a problem. Because my mech is panicking. Flamethrower is the best counter to ethereals. Right now. And I can't use flamethrower when I'm panicking. Okay, overwatch on the mech. That mech will go down easily. On the next turn. But I'll have to do something about the heavy floaters. Or just disorient them again. But I don't have that many side grenades. This was a nasty start. And yeah, there's a sectoid in the back. And I got chrysalis incoming. Alright. I can't even see that sectoid in the back. Which is going to be a problem. Yeah, that's quite a few chrysalis. The heavy floaters are disoriented. So I don't think they're close enough to throw a grenade. Yeah, they definitely aren't, because disorient effect reduces their range with the grenades. And minus 50 aim, obviously, but they will just kill civilians. I think aliens are always guaranteed to hit civilians, even if they are heavily debuffed. Well, anyway, that's a lot of aliens. So, how am I going to play this? At least that ethereal is not coming yet. Yeah, how am I going to do this? I can kill the mech. It's best to kill the mech with the gunner or something, because hit ammo. I can't kill the sectoid, I'll just take a shot. This will get rid of the shield. And now I could maybe throw a... No, I can't throw a grenade, because mech is panicking. Okay. Well, this will be an interesting turn. Very interesting turn. I hope I won't get murdered. I need to kill these stupid chrysalids, that's kind of obvious. I could disorient them. I need to kill something. Yeah, I could really use my grenade launcher right now. Because I could destroy cover for that heavy floater. Obviously I can't do it when my mech is panicking. So what about William? I can destroy that mech with William. So that will trigger in the zone. Like this. Now, can I use in the zone a few more times in this mission? Possibly, but I need to do some damage to these chrysalids. Let's see. Alright, I might even kill this one if I hit twice. If I don't, William can finish the job. Okay, that's one chrysalid down. What else can we do here? Kelly can still take a shot at one of these chrysalids. So I'll do that. Okay, I'm hoping to kill them both. Zhang. Hmm. I should probably throw another flashbang grenade. Because these heavy floaters are going to be a problem if I don't. I can still take a shot with Arpita. So 91% on that chrysalid. There we go. Now William can kill that chrysalid. And that will trigger in the zone again. 100%, so this should be a guaranteed kill. And it is. I'm mostly limited by ammo at this point. When it comes to in the zone. I got enough ammunition for one more. So can I do enough damage to that one? I can if I use Kostia for it. I might even kill it. Missed. Okay, 11 damage. I can kill it. So William again. And that's a kill. Nice. 
All right, I got rid of all the chrysalids, and I can still use the side grenade, and I can reload. So side grenade. I can only hit two heavy floaters with this, but it's still worth doing. The third heavy floater might throw a grenade, but the two ones on the left will be disoriented. The hard part is not done yet, the hard part is the ethereal. As for Zhang, he needs to move somewhere more useful, like down here maybe? Yeah. Or even here? This is full cover? Okay, this is full cover and still inside the smoke cloud? Oh, William can actually still do something. Okay, what about disabling shot on that heavy floater? That would be quite useful if I can actually hit. Okay, nice. That's useful. Alright, we are doing well so far. But the Ethereal is still out there. And there's still one more Muton. He will kill the civilian probably. If he can see him. No. He can't see him. What was this? A Muton? Yeah, rip civilian. I can't really do much about civilians. They weren't close enough to my starting position. I need to focus on not getting terribly murdered myself. That's a lot of heavy floaters. Yeah. And I didn't see any giant aliens of doom yet. So this mission might get much more unpleasant still. Okay, Hulk is not panicking anymore. That's nice. Let's move up. This will trigger Overwatch actually. Yeah, it will. But that's fine. Okay, I can take a little bit of damage. Won't have to worry about triggering it with Carl. Now I can use a grenade to destroy cover for these guys. Alright, let's do it. That should buy me two kills, maybe. Although line of sight will be a little bit awkward. I didn't destroy cover for this guy. Okay. Oh, I need to reload on my assault. Right. Well, what about Kostya? I would have to move here. Hmm. Well, I have to move with Carl after all. I could move here and then move Kostya. This should trigger the reaction shot. No, it won't. Right. But I can use flash. There we go. That will force him to move. And I can actually see him with Zhang now. Well, that's perfect. There we go. That's a kill. That was a pretty good use of flash. And now I have to move with Kostya. This will trigger a reaction shot from that heavy floater. But I guess I'm okay with that. I'm not really okay with that, but I want to kill it anyway. William. Not much he can do. He can kill that mutant on the left side. So I will obviously do that. There is one more alien on the left side that I can't see. I'm pretty sure there is one more alien here. Behind the shark, I think. I need to be careful not to get flanked. Now, Zhang. I can still take a shot with Zhang. I could also use Mind Fray. That might be a better idea. Oh yeah, Kelly. I forgot about her. 66%. Decent enough. Nice. Okay, this is going well. What else? William. No, I can't do anything with him anymore. I still got Arpita, Zhang, and Kostya. Well, I'm going to move like this. Well, no, hold on. If there's an alien on the left side, I shouldn't move here. Because then Kostya will get flanked. And that's a terrible idea. I could move him up here. And maybe I'll get line of sight. Yeah, I will get line of sight. Okay, that's better. This should be a kill unless I get really unlucky. That's a kill. Nice. Very good turn. As for Arpita... Overwatch? Oh yeah, I still got one shot with Zhang. Do I want to try killing this door? Yes, I do. No, I missed terribly. Oh well, it was worth a try at least. I can still try to do something with Arpita. Not sure if I want to. I'll just use Overwatch then. So, one of these heavy floaters might use a grenade right now. 
I'll just deal with it if they do. Oh yeah, there's a sector commander on the left side. Okay. I thought that was a mutant or something. Nine damage, not bad. The problem is that sector commander might try to mind control someone right now. No, he moved twice. He won't. The ethereal might do the same. But I have no idea where that ethereal is. Maybe he's scared. <laughs> yes, I'm sure that's it. That's the only possible explanation, right? He's afraid of us. What else could it possibly be? Alright, let's focus on these aliens then. Kelly. 26% and that's a kill. One more heavy floater. And I can hit this one. This will give me holo targeting. Even if I miss. 9 damage. This is going great so far. But I might still get murdered by the ethereal. Ethereals are really rough. Oh great, I missed in the long war. Uh, but I can shoot one more time. 69%. No, really? One hit point? Okay. I guess Hulk can finish that. Or maybe someone else. I want to kill that sector commander too. That would be nice. But how do I mob and still be safe? That's a good question. I kind of don't. Yeah, I think I'll need to stay back here for now. And William can just kill that plotter because why not? That's a guaranteed kill. And then I can still reload because in the zone. Okay, reload. William is going to be awesome within the zone and his stats. What's his aim like this? 170 name. That's pretty crazy. As for my assault, I'm just going to chill around here. Yeah, I can't see that sector commander. So I don't want to get flanked. Reload. And overwatch. Reload. As for William. Steady weapon for William. That should give him 100% on pretty much any target. For one shot at least. Here comes the sector commander. I just need that commander to stay in range. Okay. And the ethereal is coming. This is the hard part. I need to kill that ethereal. The problem is that he's already activated. And they have some really nasty tricks up their sleeve. Yep, here it comes. That's a silence or whatever it's called. That's the least dangerous attack they have. But it can do tons of damage. The most dangerous attack they can do is Rift. Yes, that Rift. Okay, I'll do some damage first, hopefully. Let's see. Kostia first, maybe. Or maybe Kelly first. No, Kelly can't actually see anything. Alright, Kostia first then. That's only 45%, but it will give me holo targeting. And this is the second problem, they reflect attacks, which is extremely irritating. Even if you do actually manage to hit them. So, I do have William. I do have run and gun. But this will be pretty low chance to hit, unfortunately. I could use run and gun to kill that sector commander. Anyway, here's the best counter to Ethereals currently. Flamethrower. But I don't want to use it just yet. I want to do some more damage first, if possible. I'll take some shots with Zhang. Okay, 6 damage, nice. He's out of ammo now. Reload. I still got William. And I still got Arpita. I can take a shot with Arpita. And there's still that Sector Commander down there, but Ethereal is much more dangerous than a Sector Commander. Reflector, unfortunately. I hate that stupid Reflect. It's so annoying. I still got Carl. I could try to flash that Sector Commander. That's not a terrible idea. 65%. Okay. Pretty damage. Can I kill that commander with William now? Should be able to. Yep, this should be a kill. And then I can still shoot the ethereal. There we go. And the ethereal now. I still got Kelly, but she doesn't have line of sight to the ethereal. What? Why can't I shoot the ethereal? Did I not activate in the zone? I guess I didn't. That's weird. Flanked or uncovered target. 
That sectoid was definitely flanked or uncovered. So, I don't know. Was he not flanked or uncovered? Well, whatever. Time for the flamethrower. I could still try to hit that ethereal with my assault. I mean, this won't be 100% chance to hit. But it should be decent chance to hit. 30%? Perito. Well, I was close enough. I just need to hit once. Like, come on. There we go. Now I can actually kill that ethereal. Nice one. Reflect this. <laughs> he can't reflect this one. <laughs> that was so satisfying. Are we actually done in this mission? Probably not. But we killed an ethereal. Come on. There we go. Awesome. Reload. I still expect to see something nasty. Yeah, there's at least one more group on the left side. And it would be nice to save at least one civilian. I don't even see any more civilians around here. Yeah, but only five lost so far. Maybe it won't be that bad. Okay, let's move towards that group on the left then. I'll use the shark as cover, because why not? Oh, I saw something for a second. What the heck was that? Okay. Scout around with Hulk. I should heal Hulk a little bit. But I want to see what that was. I saw something for a moment. Alright. Well, I need to heal Hulk. So that would be great. I also don't want to move into the open. I'll just move here. And then move in with Arpita. I'll just heal him twice. There's no reason not to. He's the person taking the most damage here. And that's what he's for. You'll be back in the fight ASAP. He should be back to full health. Or close to full health anyway. There we go. That's what, 28 hit points? That's enough. Reload. I still don't know what that alien was. I saw something for a split second. I guess I'll just use Overwatch a few times. Kostya, he will stay up here for now. And Overwatch, actually. Reload. Okay, Overwatch, Overwatch. William can use Steady Weapon. And Kelly needs to move up a bit. Here? Or maybe here. Should have better line of sight from up here, I think. Alright, well, what was that then? There's clearly something around here. Is there one more ethereal? I heard something that sounded like an ethereal, possibly. Okay. We'll find it. So, let's keep moving. I'm sure we'll see it soon enough. There we go, yep. Ethereal with two mutant elite bodies. With three mutant elite bodies. Okay, this is going to be one nasty engagement. I still got a flamethrower, but I'm obviously not close enough to use it. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I need to lure these mutant elites towards me. So I think I'll back up. Hmm, yeah, this is going to be low chance to hit. I think I'm going to back up. I could throw... No, I'm not close enough to throw this. I'd reposition my assault a bit. She can move down here. I'm going to back up and lower the mutant elites towards me. I need some proper cover around here. I don't want to go too far left. No, there are no aliens here. This is literally the end of the map. Alright. Oh no, there is something over here. A zombie? What? Really? Okay, I guess I'll kill that. That was very strange. So, Hulk. I could just overwatch with Hulk. He can probably take some hits. But no, I don't want to be too close. I'll just back up. I want to lure the mutant elites towards me. I don't want them to shoot me from in there. As for Zhang... Hmm. I need to move Zhang. Yeah, back here. Alright, Overwatch. 
I'll just overwatch with everyone, maybe except William. Overwatch. She doesn't need overwatch. And hunker down with Arpita. She's only using partial cover. Well, that zombie was a little bit weird. Here comes the ethereal. I'll need to prioritize the ethereal, not the mutant elites. Yeah, they are killing the civilians. Well, at least the mutant elites didn't move towards me. I don't mind. Now, can I kill that stupid ethereal? I have to kill the zombie before he transforms into a chrysalid. But at the same time, yeah, I need to focus on the ethereal. I'll see how much damage I can do first. Hulk. Move left and then shoot the ethereal. Yep. Sounds good to me. I can't hit it with the flamethrower on this turn, but maybe on the next one. 60%. Nice. Okay, 13 damage. That was perfect. I might be able to kill him. I got 100% shot on William. But this might get reflected. Okay, that's a kill. Well, that was the easiest ethereal I will ever kill, probably. It certainly was. Rip. In psionics. Or something. <laughs> and reload. Yep, reload. And I can still use steady weapon. In the zone is awesome. On a proper build sniper. But that's the important part. The sniper needs to have a proper build. Okay, I can move up with Kelly a little bit. Over here. Alright. This is going well. I'm on it, but I still got three mutant elites to handle. These guys are no joke. I'll spread out a little bit. Overwatch. I still got that zombie, but that's not really a problem. Down he goes. That zombie was really weird. Was he part of the chrysalid group? But he didn't move for some reason? I think that's the only explanation. He was part of the chrysalid group, but he didn't actually move. Alright, well, Overwatch. I hope some of the mutant elites will move towards me. Here they come. Will we get reaction shots? No. But I should be close enough to use a flamethrower. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm close enough to use a flamethrower. I am. I don't see the third mutant elite, but that's fine. I could just save the flamethrower. 100% chance to hit. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't use a flamethrower here. Maybe. Maybe not. Tough call. But my other soldiers aren't really close enough to do anything about this, other than William. I might be able to move and then shoot with Kostya. I could use run and gun with my assault. Yeah, 35%. Run and gun, I do have that. Alright, I'll use it. Then move here and I'll be able to sidestep. This should be good damage. Okay, 24%. I'll get holo targeting up first. I'm still a little bit undecided about the flamethrower. I'm not sure if I want to use it or not. Oh yeah, Carol doesn't actually have holo targeting. Yeah, I always forget about that part. I can get holo targeting up with Kostya. Okay, I'll do that. Even if I miss twice, that will still give me holo targeting. I didn't miss twice. Okay. Well. That's your job now. 84%. If I don't get a kill, William can finish it. That's a kill. Now I can flamethrower one muton. Such a waste to flamethrower one muton. I could disabling shot the muton. Alright, screw it. I'll hit him in the face. That's 99% chance to hit. 15 critical. Now I can kill him. As long as I don't miss. 100%. That should be a kill. That's a kill. There is one more muton elite. Somewhere in the back. So we're not done yet. Okay, steady weapon. And I need to reposition. To make these people more useful. Kelly will go here. I have no idea where that last mutant elite is. But he should be somewhere in the area. Arpita. Yeah, I don't want her to get flanked or anything like that. But I want to mob. I don't like moving into partial cover. And this is a little bit too close. I'll just dash all the way left. Alright, should be fine. 
And Carl. Carl can use Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch. That mutant elite might move into view. Possibly. I kind of expect that. Overwatch. So, come here. We got a welcoming committee. There he is. And he's coming. Come closer. I could try to capture mutant elite, but... I'm not sure if I want to bother. I don't know if this is the last alien on the map. I do have one use of the arc thrower. But it's kind of dangerous. I already captured one mutant elite. So I could only really use him for his weapon. The alien heavy weapon. Other than that... Oh yeah, okay, there's a group of seekers. Alright, I can handle that just fine. That's not too bad. So, kill that muton? Yeah, I think I'll just kill him. Well, even if I want to try capturing him, I obviously need to do some damage first. And that was a really bad miss. I don't think I can actually kill that muton right now. Well, I can try to kill that seeker. That will trigger in the zone. So, one down. No other targets. Let's see, what can I do here? I can't do much about that muton. I do have rapid fire, but I don't have running gun. I could try to take a shot from up here. Possibly. Only 40% chance, but 90% chance to crit. Okay, nice. Come on, one more. Nope. I failed to kill him because Hulk didn't hit. That's pretty much what it is. I can still try, but... This is unlikely to happen. Well, let's try anyway. No, missed completely. That really sucks. I still got Carl. He can try to take a shot. I need a crit to make this happen. Yeah, he's down to one hit point. Now I could try to capture him if I really want to. Maybe. Yeah, I thought this might give me line of sight, but it didn't. Alright. Whatever. Overwatch. Yeah, I don't think I can take a shot with anyone at that guy. I can use Overwatch with Zhang. So if he decides to move, I might get a reaction shot. I can also use Overwatch with Kostya. If I only had enough cover around here. Or I can move Kostya into full cover here. So that he's closer to other targets on the next turn. Well, we'll see what that mutant elite, elite decides to do. He'll probably just shoot someone. He's down to one hit point, he might run away. What is he doing? No, okay, he's suppressing my assault. Alright. Do I just kill him then, or break suppression and try to capture him? Can I even break suppression with anyone around here? I could break suppression with... A side grenade, but I don't have one here. I think I'll just kill him, this is not worth the trouble. Yeah, can anyone here break suppression? No, I don't think so. Zhang could maybe break suppression. As you wish. This is such a terrible idea. Okay, this is close enough. This should break suppression. Then it will disorient him as well. So I could technically ignore him for one turn. Alright. No, it didn't break suppression, did it? Yeah, it did. Okay. Am I even close enough to attempt a capture on this turn? No, not on this turn. I would have to do it on the next one. Which I suppose I can. Alright. But reload. He needs to not move towards me. He's not close enough to trigger close command specialist. But if he moves towards me, he will. Reload. On the other hand, I need to be close enough to actually be able to attempt a capture. So, yeah. Overwall. Uh, oh. Reload. Yeah, not overwatch. Reload. William. Well, that's steady weapon for now. Although, sidestepping from here will be a little bit awkward. I should probably move him. Too late to move. Overwatch. And reload. Hmm. I don't want to use Overwatch on Carl because if that mutant elite moves, 
I'll just kill him with Overwatch. Okay, here comes the Seeker. That's a pretty big one. Come on. Hit him at least once. No? Okay, whatever. 18 hit points on that Seeker. That's a pretty big Seeker. Not the biggest one I've seen. So, oh, Mutant Elite, come on. Don't freeze on me, game. Just don't move too far away. Yeah, this is why I needed to be close. Am I even close enough to attempt a capture? If not, I'll kill him. I'm not close enough to attempt a capture. I just need to kill that guy. This is not worth it. It really isn't. He moved too much. I'll just kill him. Can I even kill him right now? Well, I'll kill the Seeker first. Do I have one more flashbang grenade? I got a chem grenade. A chem grenade would be a guaranteed kill, pretty much. Who has the chem grenade? Carl has the chem grenade. I'm not sure if Carl is close enough. Can Carl kill that guy? With flash or something? No, not the Seeker. Yeah, line of sight will be a little bit awkward here. I saw him for a moment, but that was not long enough. I'll just take a shot at the Seeker now. Eighty percent? Yeah, whatever. I'll just kill that mutant elite. Rip. Hulk still needs experience. I just got the Seekers left now, so that shouldn't be a big problem. Move a bit. And also move Kelly. No, I can't move Kelly anymore. Okay, steady weapon. Are they coming? I have like three more Seekers or something like that. And this should be the last aliens now. Come on. I know you're there. I do have a battle scanner. I suppose I can throw it. Like this. This might reveal something. Yep. There's a Seeker over there. Two Seekers over there. Easy. I'll get a... Kill for someone who actually needs it. Arpita. So that's a kill for Arpita. And Carl. Or maybe not. Yeah, you can't get a kill if you miss terribly. Hulk could use a kill. So this was a funny mission. Shame I couldn't attempt a capture on that mutant elite, but whatever. This was a really nasty mission. I'm glad it's done. At least it should be done. It is. 21 aliens. 2 ethereals. So many heavy floaters. Several mutant elites. No giant alien of doom. Unless that secret counts. But I don't think so. No promotions, but I'm not even mad. Hopefully every operation goes this well. Yes, hopefully every operation goes this well. I fully agree. 16 alloys, 9 alerium, and ethereal autopsy. Panic increased, but not by much, hopefully. Yeah, it did increase quite a lot, but I didn't even get a chance to save a lot of civilians. I'll just need to be careful about Argentina. Anyway, this part is done now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like, and I'll see you next time.